you been there at the UNHRC, uh, that, that whole complex, and the reception we get as Sri Lankans, people like you, whenever you go into have, have meetings in that place, is absolutely cold. We do not get any kind of a, a, a welcoming, but we see that the LTT buddies uh, are very close with the UNHRC people. I, I, I'm openly saying if we do a, a thorough investigation, we will find at least a good 10 or 15 people embedded in the UNHRC High Commissioner's Office. Uh, none of that. Uh, now again, PTA, they want us to change this and that. Interfering with internal affairs of a sovereign nation. How can this be? Absolutely, absolutely, my sex uh, professor was saying these are uh, not haphazardly, these are deliberately uh, planned operations by the Western and those countries and NGOs. As you said very rightly, and when we also, I have been to UNICEF uh, meetings and things like that, uh, the reception that we get is very sorry to say that it is not very good. But at the same time, in, our, uh, in front of our eyes, and we have seen the LTT uh, people, their NGOs, their people, the terrorists branded uh, some of the most of the countries, including Geneva, they, they, they have uh, uh, that suicide. But for them, general, they are liberal fighters. Liberal. <laughs> but they have banned officially, and uh, uh, most of the uh, European countries, yeah, yeah, uh, they true. have LTT is being banned, but still, they carry their flag, and they carry as... It happens in the UK all the UK time. Yeah. carry their Different flags, and they, they are flag. taking it inside the... Uh, uh, lobbies inside the uh, uh, presentation areas. Uh, uh, the other, <coughs> there are areas for demonstration. There are areas for various activities. Um, <coughs> so everywhere they are very freely moving. But uh, when we, as government uh, officials, we go from Sri Lanka, if they come to know that we are military officers and we are looked at as terrorists but others as uh, friendly people. So that is how uh, this uh, double standard. So here we got to go and fight these things. And here we can even talking here will not work. We uh, in an organized manner we have to go and fight these things because this is not going to end within a day or two or year or two. This is going to be a sustainable thing, Mahesha, in my understanding. Therefore, we have to have a separate secretariat and I think His Excellency has taken the initiative for organizing it at the <coughs> Ministry level, we have to have this and we have to study this and we have to get this through all the elements of the country like academic uh, elements or universities and other uh, Sri Lankan diaspora and uh, other intellectuals. Everybody has to be educated on this and we all have to together fight uh, because this is um, continuously going to go and as uh, Professor was uh, saying, uh, this might lead into sanctions and various various other things. Therefore, we as a nation, after doing the right thing, after defeating terrorism with the best form of uh, concept, uh, operational concept, and rehabilitating these people, looking after them exceptionally well, uh, for 13, 13, or 12, 13 years, nothing is happening in this, and we have done everything to uh, look after these people. Those people who are shouting, and as you rightly said, Nothing being done to look after the uh, affected people in the country, in the north and east. But uh, this is how they are treating us. This is complete double standard. This is not happening. This is deliberately planned operation against our country.